friends welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hi my name is Sigrid and I make videos about books because I love them today's video is going to be about the Apollicon event I went this year I'm super excited about it and I have a haul for you so this video is going to be broken up in several parts I'm going to be talking about my experience first then I'm going to show you guys what I got um yeah, and it's a lot of stuff. It is. This is going to be a really long video, so I hope you guys enjoy. I also will have a reading vlog coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I did read all of the romance books that I possibly could have in the month of July, and uh, so that will be coming after this haul, so you guys will know like everything that I'm packing. It's going to be a little out of order, but hopefully you guys won't mind. Uh, so let's get started by talking about my overall experience at Apollo. I want to start off by saying, although I didn't have a 100% positive experience, I still had fun, I still enjoyed it, I still plan on going back. Um, there was just a few hiccups and... Um, if you are not new to the book community, you've probably already have heard about like <laughs> what happened at Polycon because there are so many people who were complaining. I don't think that I'm the most pessimistic person, so I maybe I just looked on the bright side of everything. I got to meet some of my favorite booktubers. I got to meet some of my favorite authors. It was, a, you know, an experience that I've never had before. I've never went to a book convention ever. So although there were hiccups, like I just feel like... I'm just so grateful and happy that I was able to attend. So, so let's talk about my overall experience. I was able to attend the Thursday event, which was, it wasn't, I think it was open for everyone, but it was like the first 300 people got in. I got to the hotel at like 4, 4 p.m. and the event was at, I think, 7. You can line up at 6. When I got there at 6 o'clock, I think it was, I think it was either 7.30 or like whatever i got there an hour before the event there was like the the line for that was insanely long like and i heard i overheard someone say there's been people here since four o'clock and i was like i don't know if i should stay or if i should go because i don't know if i'm gonna get in like there's obviously more than 300 people but i i don't know maybe i just can't count but um yeah we got in and we were able to attend the event it was like a trivia a trivia event and we kind of sat at different tables and um my team actually won like towards the end and I kid you not Madison Mary from paper, uh, Princess of Paperback was there get the right answer, you get the wrong answer, you get a point, you get the right answer, you get a point, the table with the worst points will win that round and they each get a booty and then the table that wins overall also gets I got to meet her. It was very cringe because I was like, oh my god, I love you! Like, I was so excited. You guys don't know, like, watching people on booktube like i feel like you guys are my friends like you know every time i watch someone on youtube i feel like they're my friends in real life so when i meet them in real life i'm just i want to tell you like you guys have really brought me through so much anytime i'm sad and i watch you guys' videos I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I've listened to you guys talk about your favorite books. I bought those books because uh, just because you said it and being able to meet them in real life was really cool. She was really pretty in person. She is such a nice person. She was so nice. I was so expecting her to be like, you know, mean because she's so pretty. So I was assuming that she was being mean, but she, no, she was so nice. I met Tessa Bailey. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. I met Laura Thalassa. Like I met so many authors, you guys. I got videos. Most importantly, I met Sophie Lark. Okay, we have a stash of her books coming up. <sighs> I can't wait to get to it. She actually said my name. Sophie Lark said my name. <laughs> Okay, fangirl, fangirl, <sighs> calm down. She knows my name. That is so cool. 
Okay, um, I also met Jessica from Peace Love Books XO and she's really nice as well. It was so crazy because like I had came back from dinner and I was just coming, me and my fiance was coming back to the hotel and I was like, is that Jessica? Because I knew she was coming and I actually had talked to her and I was like, hey, I'm coming too. And she was like, if you see me, just say hi or whatever. So I was like, okay. So I had it in my mind to look for Jessica so that I can like meet her. I love Jessica. I love all her recommendations. She's one of my favorite like romance booktubers. So I I saw her like in the, lo the lobby of the hotel and I just yelled out, Jessica! I'm so embarrassed right now. So I apologize so much to Jessica because I fangirled over her as well and Jessica was like who is this like you know she was like hi and I was like oh I'm Sigrid books and beauty like I message you all the time I watch all your videos like I was super fangirling over everyone and I'm so sure that I was annoying but <laughs> she was really nice as well and we got some pictures like I I love it I, I met so many other people as well so it was really fun it was really fun. So that experience alone, like just being able to meet everybody and talk to everybody and learn about these new books, that experience alone makes it worth it. Yeah, I think. And I think that's it for my experience about a polycon. I don't want to like over talk. Um, I feel like I've been talking quite a lot right now. So <laughs> I'm going to um, just move on to the other parts of the video. So first up, I got some things for my friends. I'm going to show you guys like the, the items that I got for my, my friends and I did get some books signed for them. And then I'm going to go into the swag items that I got and then I'm going to talk about the pre-orders that I got. I'm going to go over my Sophie Lark books. I'm also going to show you guys the books that I brought that I didn't get signed. I think I'll do that first just to get them out of the way. Um, this is not a like, whoa, it's me. I didn't get these books signed. It's just kind of letting you guys know what to expect if you're expecting to go that you might not get all of the books signed. It's a possibility. And I don't want to give you guys false hope as to like you can get everything signed probably multiple times. Like that's not that's not true. Um yeah, and I, I feel like there are so many people to like say, I didn't have any problems getting things signed. Well, that's the luck of the draw because, you know, maybe you didn't have as many ticketed authors or maybe your numbers for those wristbands were a little bit lower than other people because some people had really bad luck and like all of their wristbands were 500 and 600. Um... And we didn't know that we can go and ask to swap them out. I didn't know until like someone was saying, well, you know, you could just go up to a volunteer and said, you know, you can ask for a smaller number. No one knows that. Like, I wouldn't have even thought to, to, to do that because I was like, oh, it's the rule. I just assume it's the rule. Like, once you get your wristband, that's what you get. But no, apparently you could have asked for a smaller amount. So it's kind of like those little things like that is... It's a little upsetting because it's like for people like me who are going for the first time, you're not going to know those like little tips and tricks. So I'm here to tell you, if you get a number that's really high, try to, to exchange it for something smaller because I didn't know that and I wish I did. Okay, you guys, so I want to go over the books that I got for my friends. Okay, so first up, I originally was going to get this book just for my friend Simone, but I ended up getting her a few other books as well because I'm nice like that. But you can see I wrote her name as in like, you know, this is what I want for my friend. And yes, Tessa Bailey signed this book to my friend Simone and that is the coolest thing ever. Um, she also got It Happened One Summer because, um, and then there's a bookmark in here and it's also signed to Simone as well. I'm throwing this in because this book is haunting me. I got three of these <laughs> from the signing because, uh, they're in the Titan bags for everyone. I believe they're in the Titan and the Apollyon bags, but so since my fiance was coming, I got double everything that was in the bag. So I got two of these. And then I was the giveaway winner for Tracy Gerard's um, Titan ticket. So that's how I got my Titan ticket. And then I purchased a Titan ticket for my fiance to come along with me as well. So, but for Tracy, I would not have, been, you know, have gotten it. I was going to go on a diety pass and just travel the day of. 
So, um, I will show you guys that because I also won all of her backlist of books. Like, every book that she's written, I think I have. So, that was intense. But this was one of the books that she also gave in the Titan bags. So, this one is Perfect Assumption by Tracy. I didn't get this personalized because, um... I had so many of them so it's signed so hopefully my friend likes that and then I got some more things the bookish box was one of the sponsors in at a polycon and they were everywhere handing this thing out and for some reason at three different times they gave me the same keychain it is a nice keychain but I had three of them so I was like you know what I will be sending this to two of my friends um and I kept one okay I also got her this like pen highlighter uh, with a bookmark that came with my uh, the Tessa Bailey books. I also got her this gold pencil. I um, this one is from Raven Kennedy because her everything at her table was like gold theme. So I was thinking she would like that. And also I got her this thing of pink tissues from Tracy Gerard's table. I actually picked up quite a bit of these because I knew my friends love pink just like me. So I got one for her and I got one for my other friend. Okay, so that is everything that I got for Simone. We're gonna move on to my friend Chrissy. Now Chrissy is my friend who also has a Kindle and she loves when I give her my Kindle books. So anytime I got a like a free Kindle book, I gave it to her. So this one I got with one of my pre-orders. This one is Order of the Akasha and it's for Summoned by Magic. It's book one in the series. So on the back of this, it's a code for her to get the Kindle book. Okay, and then I also have another one which is Inked Persuasion by Carrie Ann Ryan. There's a cop like a code on the back of this to get a free Kindle book for that. Um, she also got the keychain. Um, I got some cozies in my, um, Titan bag, and I don't use them, but I'm pretty sure she does. So, I'm actually sending her two of these because I got one of each in the Titan bags. With my Sophie Lark pre-order, they gave me all of the free gifts, um, because I ordered so much. Um, so I got this strawberry keychain. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I got these strawberry earrings. Actually, you know what, cigarette? Why don't you just take them out of the package? That would make sense. These strawberry earrings. I don't have my ears pierced, so I couldn't have used the earrings anyways. Um, but I didn't want to be rude and say, no, I don't want your free gift. So I took them. And I knew that I was going to give this one. And then I'm not so crazy about the keychain that I I care enough to keep it. I mean, yeah, it's from Sophie Lark. But, like, if her daughter is obsessed with strawberries, then why would I not give it to her? Um, she also got a pink Kleenex for her purse. I think that is so cute. And Chrissy also got a pink pen that has, like, a little stylus thingy on the end. She got this water bottle from April Asher. I'm just over getting water bottles. The thing is, like, I didn't get this from the table. This came from the Sunday swag bag. You have to be, like, the first 300 people. So I stopped a girl who had a bag, and I was like, you know, just out of curiosity, what came in the swag bag? And she was so upset that she, she just started pulling things out of her bag and giving it to me. Because she was like, you know what, it was just a bunch of nonsense. It was a waste of my time. So she was like, here, you can have this, you can have this, you can have this. And I was like okay thank you I couldn't give it back like you know so I just said thank you and this was one of the things that she gave me I also got a beach ball in the uh the titan bag you have to blow it up but it's pink and my friend loved pink and then I got this Christmas ornament somewhere I don't know where it came from if it was in the bag or not but I don't really put up Christmas trees so I can't I won't use it I also got so this is a like a thing from one of the authors. It was a build your own book boyfriend and it came with a free ebook. So it's Married to the Rockstar by Christina Hovland. Okay, and I have two of these face masks that came in the um, Apollycon bag, the Titan bags. So I'm giving one of each to my friends. So 
yeah and they're pink i don't normally use it and i always say it as a joke but i'm dead serious that if i wake up with these things on my face i'm gonna freak out because i'm gonna think i woke up dead and i don't want that type of pressure so i rather give these to my friends because that is rational with their thoughts okay so let's go into the books that i got for chrissy so I've read this as part of my reading vlog that will be coming soon but this is A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett Sinclair. I had the paperback as well as the hardcover edition of this book so I took it to get it signed by Scarlett but that was one of the authors that I did not get to see. Uh, she was highly ticketed, her line was always packed um, and my number was like 210 on one of the days and they made it to like 200 and I begged them I was like please please let me get in line I am 210 I promise like please they said no and I never got to see her so you can see that I tabbed these I really enjoyed the book I think I gave it five stars but um yeah I wanted to get this personalized but I wasn't able to see her but Chrissy will be coming um to a polycon next year so hopefully she will be able to get this signed and personalized herself so I will be sending this to her she also got a copy of the perfect assumption by Tracy Gerard um yeah this one was also included in the titan bag Another book that we got in the Titan bag, like literally everyone got this book. So I had two of these and she reads fantasy and Simone doesn't. So that's why she got a few more books than Simone because the extra books are fantasy books. Um, so this one is Lexi C. Foss's Blood Laws. I think this is book one in the Immortal Curse novel. So I kept one and I gave it to Chrissy and this one is also, I got them signed while I was there. So exciting. Okay, and last up, you guys, I made the dumbest mistake of my life, and I am ashamed to say it. Okay, I am not familiar with this series. I knew that Laura Thalasso, I knew that Laura Thalasso uh, created the Four Horsemen series. I pre-ordered those in paperback. On Thursday, at the event where we did the trivia and people were winning books, one of the girls at my table won this book. And I remember looking at it and was like, I want that book. So I made a mental note to get it when I just go to see Laura Thalassa the ne the following day. So I was like, I'm going to see Laura Thalassa and get this book. Like, I'm just going to order it from her. So I go there, I pick up my pre-order, and I ordered this book. And then I stupidly said, oh, and I'll also take that series that starts with Repsotic. So I bought this series twice. This is the bind-up of the series that start with Rhapsodic. And then I got the individual paperback books of the same series. She did not warn me. I guess maybe she just thought that I was a super fan and I wanted every edition that she had. No, I'm not. I just wanted the one series. But yes, yeah, so me and my friend talked about it and she said, I will take one of them off of your hands. And I was like, do I want the individual ones or do I want the bind up? And I was like, this one is going to be a little bit harder to read. So I'm giving this one to my friend um, and I will be keeping the individual books. Okay, you guys, so let's go over the books that I brought with me that I was not able to get signed by the authors. It's not a lot considering I bought, I brought a lot of books, you guys. I can't even say that I'm too upset about not being able to get certain things signed because I had a ton of books. I had a suitcase full of books and I still had other stuff out. Like if you guys saw the list of books that I, I brought, like I didn't count it, but honestly, if I did, it probably would have been close to 100. Okay. So first up, we have my collection from Scarlet St. Clair. Um, I have the A Touch of Darkness series, and then I got King, De A King of Battle and Blood. And this A Game of Fate book, I actually got for free. So someone won this in their Titan bag. Like, not won it, but it came as like a free book in their Titan bag. And they already had it. Let me show you. Let me hold it up as I talk about it. Someone got this in their Titan bag as one of their free books. I think the Titan bag came with like three books. It was the Perfect Assumption, the Lexi Frost book, and then it was one random book that everyone was like kind of like different. Someone got this one and she was by me and I was just, you know, starting conversation. I told her how much I love the series and that like I didn't have this book. And she was like, do you want to trade this for one of your books? Because I already have this. So I ended up giving her a book that I had already had. I forgot which one it was but it was a romance paperback so to get a hardcover book like this one is kind of like 20 some dollars like 
I did good. So thank you to that girl who gave me the book. I'm just gonna hold these up but I do have I had like six books I believe for Maggie Stepfather but this is the Raven Cycle. I was super excited to meet them. I haven't read these books yet but like I mean I had the book so I wanted them signed. So I brought these and I think it was the day before that we got the notice that they were canceling but these were already like in my suitcase in the car in the parking garage so I was like I'm just gonna leave them but I had to like take them even though I knew I wasn't gonna get them signed. Um, also a person who dropped out was El Casamino but I was able to remove that because I had I still had it with me in the house so I didn't take it. Yeah I did not meet Allie Hazelwood. Um, unfortunately I don't know what happened. I, I feel like she probably was an easier one to get but I did take a nap, so I mean, it's, it's partially my fault. I took a nap in between the two signings, and when I woke up to go and like go and get it signed towards the end of the second signing on Saturday, her line was closed. So if I if I would have went there, I probably could have gotten this signed. So I don't count that one as something that you know. The one that I am the most upset about is Lisa K. Adams. What happened? It has never, it has, to this day, it has not been said what happened because I brought these books. This is one of my favorite romance series of all times. I had plans to get my fiance his copies of all of this, the, every book in the series because I feel like he would have liked it. I don't know what happened. I saw a message in the Facebook of someone saying, hey, if you guys have books for Lisa K. Adams, like, she's not there. Like, I talked to her publicist and, like, they was like, I don't know why it wasn't announced. She canceled. So, I don't know but like I was just a little discouraged with um her not being there I think she's gonna be at book bonanza next year so hopefully I can get it signed then but I was really disappointed okay another person that I was not able to see was Andy J Christopher and I actually read this book in my vlog so a little disappointed um I think she left a few she wasn't a ticketed author so it should have been super easy and I actually saw her on Friday I walked past her table there was no one there so it, it should have been really easy for me to get these signed but I didn't have the books with me on that day I had everything scheduled out to bring on certain days um and I just when I actually had the books she wasn't at her table so I think she left like maybe a few minutes early on Saturday so this is really unfortunate but it's fine yeah and those are all of the books that I didn't get signed looking at them it's not a lot of people. It really isn't. Considering how much I was able to get signed, I still recommend the Titan Pass because out of all of the books that you're about to see that I brought, like those, a lot of them were from the same author. So I recommend it. Like I'm not too, too upset. The only person that I'm like really kind of upset about is Lisa K. Adams. And that's because like I was looking so forward to it because it's like my favorite series. Like what? Like I don't know. So that was a little unfortunate, but I'll get over it. It's fine. Okay, so next up, we're going to go over my swag items, the items that I got for free, some of the free books that I got either in my Titan bags or just in general at the event. So we're going to get started with the brunch uh, swag. As you can see, I haven't taken it out of the box, but it came in this really nice, like, sweatshirt-like material drawstring bag. It's really cool. Um, just the items that come in it. We got this like leather coaster. It's really cool. And then we got this like post-it pad. And then we got a bookmark. I think they said that this is a tattoo. But I don't know if it's a tattoo or decal. And then we got like this nail file. It's really pretty and it's red. And we also got a From Blood and Ash pin. This is really pretty. And then we got this beautiful a polycon book bow. It's really pretty and it's it, you can I love it. It's definitely high quality. I really really love that. And then inside we got the a polycon edition of From Blood and Ash. It's this beautiful red color. It's really pretty. It's paperback obviously. But this is so cool. Like I now have three copies of From Blood and Ash. <laughs> okay, so the event that we went to on Thursday, um, we got a, we, me and my fiance each got a book for attending, and then my table 
we all won like a free book so me and my fiance was sitting at the same table so we both got a book each so in total it's four books so i don't know who got what but the first book was the wicked beauty by um katie robert this is the arc yeah this is the advanced readers edition of it i love katie robert so i'm excited to have this i was so happy i think i got this one and i was so happy when i got it i was like like i almost teared up because like i love katie robert and then i got this one this one is um the summer of broken rules by kl walther yeah kl walther i wasn't that excited about this one honestly i think i'm going to give this to one of my friends because um i don't know anything about this book i'm not that excited about it and i really gotta stop buying so many books or taking in so many books okay you guys so like i said my fiance was there and this was the book that he won and so i took a really cute picture with my ring and this book i'm not wearing my ring in this video i don't really wear it when i'm at home i take it off because i just don't like jewelry like that but i thought that this was so cute it says husband material like it's a sign it is a sign <laughs> and then finally we have must love books by shauna robinson this is a book that i actually really wanted it was on my wish list so i'm excited to have gotten this so yay i'm happy and um they came in these two bags that says slow burn or smut and this was the source book event i actually really enjoyed that there was some technical difficulties at that event like you couldn't really hear the trivia questions like our table really couldn't hear it so we were just kind of like reading it it was really far away we were reading it and like answering it so it kind of made it a little bit harder to win but we won despite that and i'm so excited okay and like i said earlier um this book also came in all of the titan bags as well this is blood loss by lexi c floss i got it signed because she was also there but um i'm super excited to to read this because it's not something that i would have normally picked up for myself but i think it's about vampires i think it's about vampires and I, I i like vampires so excited about that then we got this book by maria Vale, which i also got signed because she was also there this is wolf in the shadows this is a shifter book i read my first shifter book uh in my reading vlog i am gonna keep pitching it so you guys know to watch it in my polycon reading vlog i i read not the witch you read by april asher which is a supernatural book it follows a witch but there's also shifters in this book as well and i've never read a book that involved a shifter i didn't even know that it was anything other than wolves i thought the shifters were wolves but in that book it wasn't just wolves but in this book it's wolves so at the source books event i believe maria kind of made a statement and she was talking about how the alpha in her series are always female and i made a mental note that i really really wanted that book and like i saw that you know in my titan bag it was this one so super excited about this one i actually just recently saw that this is like book six or five in the series so now i have to get the other ones i don't know if you can read them out of order but like this is not book one <laughs> and finally for the last book we have the jla book that was included in all of the titan boxes i think titan and a polycon bags we got a copy of a shadow in the ember so i got one personalized for me and then i got another one signed okay so let's get into the item swag so first up el penelope gave me a poster because i had all of her books she was like you have so many books that i'm just gonna give you this poster so this is so cool right like look this is so cute i definitely wanted to to go and check out all of like the fantasy people because like you really don't really get to see a lot of like fantasy people at like romance convention so i checked her out i got these fans from i think coralie june i don't know where this one is from so i'm just going to show it and we're just gonna go fast i got a notepad i thought this was really cute and this one's from mia sosa but it's like this like little reading list it's really cute and so we got a bunch of art prints so i'm just going to to just show them this came in the titan bag i remember because i got two of them this one is from Maria Vale. It's like a bracelet. I think it's so cute. It's a wishing bracelet. So you're supposed to keep it on for your wishes to come true. 
Um, we got this, which is kind of like an emergency pack. Oh, how cute. More art prints. Uh, actually, this one right here is like a sampler from Ian Moore of like her upcoming books. Um, build your perfect boyfriend thing sticker. Um, this one is kind of cute. This is like a lip kit. There's this, I think this came in like the Titan bag, but it's like, it has like words on it and it's magnetic. I got these strawberry so socks from Sophie Lark um, for like getting a ton of pre-orders from her. So I'm keeping this. Um, and then the bookish box, I told you guys, they were just handing these out, child. Um, the, uh, I got one for myself too. These are just so cute. Got a ton of pens and pencils. These glass cleaners. Got another bracelet. It's really pretty. I got a pen, which I really love. Got another beach ball. These came in the Titan bag, so I got two of them. I got a ton of bookmarks. Like, it's so many. It's crazy. My favorite one is this one from, um, I think, Lucia Franco. It came with, like, the little book tabs, so that was cute. I got another. Um, this one is from Lee, uh, Nikki Sloan. I got a eyeglass wiper. Uh... Raven Kennedy had some page flags, which I thought were cute. I'm actually going to give that to my friend. I have a ton of page flags already. Um, I got this spray on hand sanitizer, which I will give to my fiance because I have sanitizer already. More pins. I got some candies, which I love. I got this really cool tumbler. I don't know where I got this from. Oh, Helena Hunting actually gave this to me um, with my pre-order. So this was really cool. I will keep it. I got her entire Puck series. You guys will see that coming up soon. We got these little things in the Titan bags. I don't know what they are, but they look really pretty. Uh, more pins. <laughs> and we also got lip balms. I love lip balms. We got more candies. And that's pretty much it. We got some of these things which you were supposed to like stick on your your badge. I didn't really catch on to it until like well after it was over. But that was cool. I think my favorite candy I got was from Raven Kennedy. These are like the caramel ones. I really love those. I wish I could eat it right now. But yeah, that was everything that I got like swag related. So I'm going to move on to my pre-orders. And then I'm going to move on to all the books that I brought to be signed. Okay, you guys, so we're going to get into the things that I pre-ordered. I'm going to go over, like, the non-bookish items first, and then I'm going to go over the things that I got from Tracy Gerald. Um, those are technically pre-orders, even though they were a giveaway. Let's go over my pre-order from Hello Lovely. So I got a few bookish t-shirts. I really love wearing bookish t-shirts, like, all the time, but especially, like, if I go to any bookish events, I want to wear a bookish t-shirt, so I... I got some cute ones. So this one says Romanticy Reader. I discovered from reading books before um, a polycon that I really like the Romanticy genre. So cool. I got another um, shirt. This one is the um, official a polycon shirt. So this is how the back looks. Can't really see. Yeah, this is how the back looks. And it says bury me next to my tbr it's pink and on the front it has like a skeleton right here i think it's really really cute i love pink so of course i was down i also got this tote which honestly looking back i think it was a horrible idea because we got so many totes at a polycon every time i pre-order something they gave me totes they gave me totes at different events i got probably over 10 different totes <laughs> from this event um i also got this sleep shirt so this was my first sleep shirt from hello lovely and they ended up giving me a 3xl so i was like this must be a mistake i went back to like exchange it for a smaller size and they were like oh our sleep shirts are always 3xl and i was like what this is huge but i kept it because they tried to give me something else which was really nice, but I was like, oh, well, if this is how it's supposed to be, then I'll just keep it. But it says fiction addiction, and it's really cute. And then I got a sweatshirt. So this is like the same as the pink shirt, but it's the sweatshirt edition. So it has that same logo on the back that says bury me next to my TBR. I thought this was a cute, like, baby blue color. 
Um, I also got a face mask that says, stay safe, let's read. I thought it was cute. I got this from Bookbo and then I just didn't use it. Like, it was just so intense for me that I, I didn't even pull this out, honestly. Maybe I'll use it next year. <laughs> um, but this is like, you're supposed to get people to sign it and it came with its own pen. I just, I didn't do it. And then I also got the reading pillow from Bookbo. I, I just love the idea of having a reading pillow. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, that was all of my non-bookish items that I pre-ordered. So let's go over the books that I pre-ordered or that I purchased at a Polycon. So first up, I got all of the hardcovers to... You can't really see. First up, I got all of the hardcovers to the Guild series, the Plated Prisoner series. I'm currently reading this book right now and you can't oh there it is I'm currently reading this one right now this is book one and I did get it signed and I believe I got it personalized to me let's see I did she personalized it in gold cute okay here are the other books in the series as well okay so next up I got a pre-order from Nikki Sloan I did read one of her books as part of my reading vlog for Polycon um so I got the rest of the books that I did not own. So I got The Architect, which is the last book that in the Nashville Neighborhood series. I read The Pool Boy that is part of the series. So and then I got the uh, Filthy Rich Americans series. So it starts off with The Initiation, which is a beautiful cover. Then there's The Obsession. I don't know if this is in order. The Deception. It's really pretty. The Temptation and The Redemption. Then I got me some Tessa Bailey books as well. So I got My Killer Vacation and I got this one personalized to me, I believe, so that it matches my friends. Yes, I got it personalized to me. Yes, thank you, Tessa. And then I got Hook, Line, and Sinker. I pre ordered this one as well. I don't know if I got this one. Oh, I did. Okay, so this is personalized as well. Then I ordered the Pucked series by Helena Hunting. Um, this was, I believe, $70 or $80. I think it was $80. Um, and I, I think she added more books. So I don't remember ordering this, but this is like a novella. It says Pucks and Penalties. So it came with quite a lot of stuff. Plus she gave me like swag items as well. So um, then I have this um, like little booklet of like her next book then I have this like Christmas book it's called Christmas in the City and it's an anthology and then we have the Puck series so we have Pucked Love, Pucked Off, Pucked Up, Forever Pucked, Pucked Over and I guess this is the first book which is Pucked. Um, I'm super excited to read this I haven't read anything by Helena Hunting so I really hope I like this because I got them did I get them personal? I didn't get them personalized, thankfully. So if I don't like them, I could just give them away. Okay, so I actually got this twice. Um, so this is Bound by Honor. I actually got me this book and as well as my friend Chrissy one. And I had promised to get her one beforehand. So this one is Chrissy's copy. And I'm glad I'm doing this video because I forgot to put it with her things. So I'm moving it over with her things now so that I'll remember to mail it out. Um... I got me a copy as well, but it's further down on the stack. I also got this beautiful cover of Hush Hush by Lucia Frank Lucia Franco. She is such a sweet person in real life. Like, she was so nice. I've always wanted to read this book, and it's just so pretty. Oh, and she personalized it to me and said, what are besties for? So I'm super excited to read this. I also pre-ordered this series by E.M. Moore. This is the Summoned by Magic Order of Akasha series. So the first book is Summoned by Magic. Then we have book two, which is Tempted by Magic. We have book three, Ravished by Magic. Book four, Indulged by Magic. Book five, Enraged by Magic. Then I pre-ordered books by Christina Hovland. I just thought the covers were so cute and I really, really wanted to like get them. They were so adorable. I think these were $30 because they were $10 each if you bought if you bought like more than one. So uh, this one is There's Something About Molly. I just think, isn't that cute? Like, look at that. Rachel Out of Office, April May Fall. 
The cutest thing about this Arthur is that she was there with her mom and I got people to sign my Apollycon scrapbook. So my fiance kind of made a joke um, that he wanted um, her mother's signature instead of hers. And she was like, uh, Christina was like, oh, please let her, can she please sign? Like this would really make her day. So I actually have her signature in here and i think it's so cute signature it was such a cute innocent moment this is her mom's signature this is her signature and she recommended these books to me but it was such a great moment and i'm really glad that i could make her mom stay like that was everything it was such a cute moment okay and i was able to pre-order from laura the lasso herself and i got the four horsemen series i have the special edition books from uh the arcane society but i i'm probably gonna read the paperbacks because i don't want to mess those up those are pretty but i got these personalized because i just know i'm gonna love it like she was such a nice person too everyone was nice i'm just so excited so book one is pestilence i'm gonna be reading this soon i just i feel it then we have war book two then we have famine book three then we have death book four and these are all personalized to me so she just said Sigrid. Oh, she just said Sigrid and signed my name. And you guys, I was number one. I got number one on my wristband for her. So I was so excited. And I, I made sure that I told her. I was like, I was number one for you. And she was like, oh my gosh, really? Now here are the remaining books for Cora Riley. So we have Bound by Honor here. This is my copy. I think I might have gotten it personalized. Yes. So this one's my copy. And then we have Bound by Love by Cora Riley. So this one was a mistake. Um, when they sent me the invoice, I saw that they had this on there. But I was too lazy to correct it. So I just paid for it and I picked it up. <laughs> I don't know if this is personalized. I think I just had, yeah, I just had her sign it. So my fiance actually purchased books himself so these are his two books that he purchased i think he just randomly picked something so we have match by masala and this is by mona shroff and then he got the five day reunion also by mona shroff so cute okay i saw this cover and i was so enthralled with it that i had to purchase it like it was so pretty to me and this is you're to blame by it says Brooke Jordan, but I think it's Posey Parks as well. Like, it's, I think they, it's both of them. So, then I got Lilac by B.B. Reed. I heard really great things about this, so I was so excited to, to get it. I actually pre-ordered it from Amazon. The first one came with a uh, printed issue, so I had to return it. And the second one had, like... Amazon does not package their books well so it was kind of like damaged so I took that one back as well and so I was like you know what I'm just gonna purchase it when I go to a polycon so I got this one from her table um and she personalized it she said love fearlessly secret thank you oh also I had all my hello kitty stuff on so she called me miss hello kitty I thought it was so cute we have the <laughs> the bargainer series which I learned the hard way it, it's called it's not rhapsodic um so i purchased this from laura thalassa um so book one is rhaps rhapsodic i hope i'm saying this right you guys then we have a strange hymn uh the emperor of evening stars and dark harmony i and yeah and i got these personalized as well i really hope that i like her books <laughs> Okay, so now we can get into my prizes from winning the Tracy Gerard giveaway in their Facebook group. First up, she gave me a speaker. Um, it kind of looks like a camera lens. I thought it was so cute. And then I also got a $10 off um, Blooming Books. Oh, I was supposed to use this at the thing. It says valid until July 31st. Uh, yeah, I... I didn't oh wait July 31st 2023 yay okay so it, it is not expired yet so this is for blooming books excited about that okay so I'm gonna go over all of the books that Tracy Gerard gave me and I she gave me a personal she personalized all of these books for me and then she also put a quote in all of them that corresponds with the title so I'm gonna read them so the first one I see is free to protect um, and she said, fire burns. 
So I'm just going to save them because it's so many of them. So we got Perfect Order. This is part of her Midas series. And she says, there is no order in love. Perfect composition. Music is love. Uh, perfect assumption. This is the book that we got in the bags. So it says, never assume about love. And we got Perfect Proposal. All of these are in the Midas series. So she said, the proposal doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, moving on, we have another free to book. It's free to breathe. And her quote says, just breathe. And we got free to run. It says, don't run from love. Then we got free to believe. Design a love beyond your wildest dreams. We have free to dream. It says, always believe in dreams. We have free to dance. Uh, it says, just dance, smiley face. Then we have free to live. And it says, and in the end, live for love we have free to wish and it says make a wish uh free to rejoice believe in miracles okay moving on to her glacier adventure series this one is called return by air neither time nor air can stop true love then this is return by land love can land you in the best places we have return by sea is it don't be towed by love Don't be something by love. I think it's don't be torn by love. Then we have her devotion series. This one is Ripple Effect. Uh, and it's Love Causes Ripples. Then we have another book in the devotion series, Flood Tide. Let the Flood In. Then we have... I think this one looks like a standalone and it's called Close Match. Such a lovely color cover. Um, it says, Close is good enough. That's cute. Okay, so that was everything that Tracy Gerard gave me as part of her giveaway. I can't wait to read every single one of these books by her. I've already joined her Facebook group. I am officially obsessed with this woman. So thank you so much, Tracy. I look forward to seeing you next year. Okay, these are all of the books that I got from Sophie Lark. She's probably the one that I got the most books by, I am pretty sure. I pre-ordered 14 books by her, and I brought in my entire collection to have her sign. And I was able to get every single one of those signed. I was obsessed. She signed all of these because her line became open after a little while. And um, if there's no one behind you, you can get as many signed as possible. So... Yay! I'm so excited. So, woo, let me put these down. Okay. So, we're going to start off with Ivan, which is the first book that I've read by Sophie Lark. This is my first mafia book. It was amazing. It has a spy in it. It has a literal hate to love because literally she's hired to kill this guy and they fall in love. It's so great. I gave it five stars. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And of course, I got all of these signed and she personalized this one and said, give daddy Ivan a hug for me. XOXO. Sophie Lark! Oh my god! I love Sophie Lark so much. If you're watching this, Miss Lark, I love you. I love you so much. Okay, and then we got, I got her Brutal Birthright series. I didn't own these just yet, so I did pre-order all the books in this series. So we have Stolen Air. I don't know if this is book one. We have Heavy Crown, Savage Lover. I actually have the special edition one of these because it came in a book box. Bloody Heart. These are thick books. Like, look at this. I wonder they're heavy. Of Broken Vow, Brutal Prince. This is the first book. I do recognize the first book in the series. These two are from my personal collection. This is called The Sinner's Duet, I believe. And I actually read this one during my reading vlog. So if that is something you're interested in, definitely check that out once it is up. But this one is the first book, and this is There Are No Saints. This is a serial killer romance that everyone is talking about. And this is book two. I actually can't wait to read this one because I want to know how it ends. Another book that I read during my vlog is The Air. This is the first book in the King of Makers series. I really, really enjoyed this. You guys can see that I tabbed it. It's really great. So don't forget to watch that vlog. The Bully, The Spy, The Savage, The Rebel, now we're getting into my special edition versions of these. We have There Are No Saints and, wait, we have There Are No Saints and There Is No Devil. And the thing is, I one of the things that I talked to her about is that 
the cover like she really is detail oriented because the snake on the cover actually has something to do with the story itself which I know you guys are probably like duh secret but like I would have never thought that a special edition would have had you know something that was from the story I, maybe I'm stupid but like I think that that was really cool and so I I fangirled to her about it I was like oh my god this is from the tattoo isn't it and she was like yeah like Okay, so we have the special edition of the Kingmaker series. So we have the Air, the Rebel, the Bully, the Spy, and the Savage. I feel like I spent more money on Sophie Lark's pre-order than I did on the actual tickets for a Polycon. So that just tells you how much of a fan I am. Like, I love her with all of my heart. Okay, so now we're going to wrap up with the books that I brought to get signed. It's actually not that much now that I look at it. It is not. Okay, first up, we're going to go over another book that will be part of my reading blog. This is Not the Witch You Read by April Asher. I really, really love this. There's another, it's going to be a series, and each book is going to follow each of the sisters. It's so good. If you guys want to know about the book, um, definitely check out that reading vlog. Right, next up, I got these books signed by Naima Simone. We got Jesse's Girl, and then we got Sin and Ink. Then we have these books by Coralie June. We have Grudge, Malice, and Wrath. Then we have The Girls with Stars in Her Eyes by, I think it's Zhao Axelrod. I really enjoy meeting her. I took a photo with her. She was such a joy. I loved her. Like, wow. Then we have the Curse Breaker series. I actually did not get a chance to meet Bridget Kimmer Kimmerer. My fiance got these signed. We had to divide and conquer those lines. So he got these signed for me. And then I went to, I believe, EM Moore to pick up my pre-order because we were running out of time. But super excited that I was able to get these signed. Then I got two books signed by Nikki Sloan. I read this during my vlog, The Pool Boy. And then uh, The Doctor. I'm super excited to read this one because I feel like it's going to be even better than The Pool Boy. Um, this is another book that I read in my reading vlog. This is American Royalty. I absolutely adored it. It's so good. I was so excited to get this uh, signed and personalized. So great. Then we have It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I got it signed. And then we have Fix Her Up also by Tessa Bailey. We have A Lot Like Adios by Alexis Daria. We have The Truth About Heartbreak by B. Celeste. I'm super excited to read this one. I just love the cover. Like, look at that. Isn't it pretty? We have uh, Love Her a Loser by Tessa Bailey. Then we have The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa. I haven't read this one, but I really enjoyed the first book. And then I got a few books signed by JLA, thanks to her staying a little bit later. So I got A Shadow in the Ember, signed this is the hardcover book and i believe i got them personalized actually we were only able to get one thing personalized to keep the line moving so i think i got from blood and ash personalized we have kingdom of flesh and fire then we have from blood and ash i think this one is the one i got signed yeah so she said sigrid we will rise thank you jla we will we shall Okay, then The Crown of Gilded Bones. I think that's book two. And we have The War of Two Queens. Okay, then I got these books by Michaela Smeltz Smeltzer. I heard good things about this book and I read um, a snippet of this before I got it and I thought it was pretty cool. So The Confidence of Wildflowers and The Resurrection of Wildflowers. Honestly, looking at these covers, I would have never thought to get these on my own. They just don't look that appealing to me. It looks really historical fiction, kind of boring vibes, but I've heard good things about it, so I'm going to read it, and I'm super excited about this. I got another book signed by B.B. Reed. This is Fear Me. Let me see. Uh, she said, Monsters Do It Best. So this is book one in her Broken Love series. So I'm super excited to read her books to see if I like them. And then I got several books signed by Elle Penelope. She gave me a poster because I had all her series in this one. This one is the Earth Singers Chronicle. It's a fantasy series, so I'm super excited about it. So we have Whispers of Shadow and Flame, of Requiem of Silence. The fact that I was able to say that, girl. Cry of Metal and Bone. Song of Blood and Stone. 
and I also got like this this cute like it's like an anthology because it has like four stories in it but it's like romance and cute uh, but this one is the Cupid Guild I love that. Then I got my uh, The Bridge Kingdom series signed by Daniel L. Jensen. A lot of people don't know, but this is the book that introduced me to my fiance. I was in Barnes and Noble and he was there and I was reading the back of this book and I looked over to him and I said, do you think I should read this? And I read it to him and he said, yeah, that sounds good. And the rest is history. We started talking. We actually went to a restaurant afterwards. Um, the rest is history and now I'm about to be a missus because of you know what reading books get you a man's I'm telling you um he actually proposed to me in Barnes and Noble in the romance section so like it just came full circle and I'm just I really love to like tell that story to people because I really like if that is the exact proposal that I would have wanted and I didn't even know that that's what I would have wanted um next up we have a deal with the elf king and a Dance with the Fae Prince. This is the Married to Magic series by Eliz Kova. I actually read this one as part of my reading vlog. You know what? I'm really proud of myself for reading all of these books because I thought I didn't read that many. And look at this. I'm telling you guys all of these books that I read. This book was really, really good. I think I gave it four stars. But I, I, I will tell you guys more in that vlog. But it was really good. I'm obsessed. I actually just pre-ordered the third book, which is coming out later this month. I tried so much to talk a Liz into giving me her arc that she had on that count on her little booth. I was like, lady, I want this book. Can I have it? And she was like, no, it's an arc, but you can enter to win it. I was like, lady, give it to me. <laughs> yeah, so that's everything. Those are all of the books that I got from a polycon. Uh, this was a long video, but I'm super excited. I will be going again. Let me know if you guys want me to vlog it next year. I will be having my my book friend to go with me instead of my fiance. And she takes really good pictures. She'll be able to help me with vlogging. So it will be a lot better quality than the one that you guys are going to see. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.